Okay, I am back. And I promise I'm going to get better at filming. Um, I'm using my phone, and so I'm not sure how to splice videos together, so it looks like this is going to be in three parts. Um, so the chili is... Um, I'm going to put a lid on it. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. I'm going to reheat it tomorrow because I have some errands that I need to run. Um, I ended up adding more of that ground turkey and I measured what was left of the ground turkey and there was about a half a pound left of the ground turkey. So I used about a pound and a half of the ground turkey. I used the two cans of chili, the or the tomatoes, the chili ready and the Italian stewed. Um, I did add some garlic minced garlic, um, about probably half of an eighth of a teaspoon um, I put in there. And um, then I went ahead and added a cup of this, the riced cauliflower and sweet potatoes. Um, so this is what it looks like. You can see it's a pretty good mix of the sweet potatoes and the cauliflower. Um, I measured out a cup of that, put that in there, um, it tastes really good. I may add some chili seasoning, um, I just don't want to make it too spicy for me. And then the chicken bake. So, <laughs> a lot happened to this since um, I put it in the oven. So, I pulled it out, the cheese was browning. Um, the sauce was sickening, everything was looking good, but the chicken wasn't done yet. So I went ahead and I stirred it all up. I chopped up the chicken that was in there, kind of tore it up and stirred that all up in there. And then I took the rest of that Colby Jack cheese that was left, sprinkled that over the top and baked it, um, until it looks like this. Oh, when I stirred it, I also added, uh, garlic powder to it. Um, I probably, as I'm looking at how the soup turned out, next time I will probably cook the veggies, drain them, cook the chicken, drain it, and then put it all together. But this was a learning experience on how the cook, how the veggies cooked. So I tasted this. Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. Um, this is definitely a winner right here. So I am going to let this cool. I'm going to wrap this up, put it in the refrigerator, cool it. Then I'm going to take it out because then it'll have set, kind of like lasagna does. Um, and I'm going to put it into those um, serving cups that I showed earlier. These right here, these four ounce portion cups with lids right here. Um, since I shredded up the chicken in it, it's going to make it a little bit difficult to measure the chicken and make you know get the two ounces of chicken with the one ounce of veggies so um i will you i will do this with another protein yogurt an egg something like that cottage cheese um so this is not going to be four meals this is going to be i don't know how many at this point but i will measure it out and i'm going to put those in the freezer and keep out enough for this week but this is definitely a winner. I'm loving this. So uh, what I'll do is the next time that I make this, um, I'm going to measure everything, write it down when I'm measuring it. Um, I'm going to try to get it less soupy, or I'm going to see if this, if this sets up better. If this sets up better and there's not a lot of juice, then I won't have to tweak it any. But uh, I am very pleased with this. And I'm going to try to figure out the macros, the nutritional value on this. Um, I'm still learning how to figure that. I know it's simple. You add it all together and then you divide it by how many servings you end up with. Um, so I may be able to do it by rewatching the video, um, but I'm getting better at that. I'm only six weeks out, out from surgery, so I'm like three weeks of actually cooking <laughs> um, and measuring all this stuff. So. I'm learning. Anyway, I hope that this helps you guys, um, gives you guys some ideas. Um, I'm really satisfied with these 
two meals and the chicken salad that I made. I'm probably going to make some egg bites um, and I will try to film that. Um, I really, I've made them before them and meatballs are really easy. Um, I freeze them individually and then I pop them into a plastic bag and I just take a couple out at a time, microwave them for about 30 seconds and they're perfect for a snack. They're, you know, two of them or two ounces and I can add a veggie or something because um, they end up being one to one and a half ounces. Um, so anyway, before I, I make this too terribly much longer, I really appreciate you watching this and um, if you have any other ideas on how to modify these, um, please leave them in the comments below. I'm going to do the whole press like, follow, the whole nine yards, subscribe. Um, and I am going to get that intro video. Um, I'm totally out of order on this. I have a lot of diverse, so my name is Yarning with Angela. I started my channel, I was going to do my knitting and my crocheting and spinning, which I will probably post some of my projects, but my life has taken a complete 180 turn um, with this surgery and I have Chiari malformation. And there's not a whole lot of information about Chiari malformation. Um, it's a very, it's terrible, terrible thing to have to deal with. Um, it's lifelong, there is no cure. Um, there's treatment but there are so few doctors that actually understand it. And so, um, I hope to put some informational videos out on Chiari malformation and intracranial hypertension, or it's called pseudotumor cerebri. Um, but that's going to take a lot of research and I have the research. I have researched for myself, but I don't want to put anything out on YouTube that's not backed by, that I can't, quote the doctors. I can't quote the labs. And I, I won't just be quoting any doctors. Um, Bobby Jones Foundation has a lot of information on Chiari, and so I will show that. But even if you don't have Chiari or intracranial hypertension, um, you likely know somebody that does or somebody that's not been diagnosed. Um, it's very widely misdiagnosed. Um, people are told that they have anxiety disorders. They're told that they have migraines. Um, that losing weight is going to cure it all. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> losing weight is not going to cure my Chiari. It might help with my intracranial hypertension, but as my surgeon said, even if it doesn't solve my neurological issues, it's going to get me healthier. And so when it comes time, if it comes time for me to have brain surgery, which I will explain in another video what the surgery entails, um, I will at least be healthier. And it's that way with any medical condition. Even if losing weight doesn't treat or cure your disorder, um, being healthy is going to make you better for a million different reasons. Um, it's going to make it, it's going to narrow down your symptoms. Um, so yeah, I had symptoms that was based on being overweight. Um, and I had symptoms that were based on the intracranial hypertension and I had symptoms that are based on Chiari and I'm learning which symptoms were which now which pain is related to which thing that was wrong with me um, so anyway I totally got off course there but I do hope to put out some information on those things um, in future videos so this channel isn't going to be just gastric bypass duodenal switch, uh, sleeve gastrectomy, recipes or cooking or hauls or information. It's going to be um, the crafts that I do. I do diamond painting, I crochet, I knit, I spin, uh, process wool, and uh, it's also going to be um, on my health challenges, putting information out there for others that might also benefit from that information. So I'm going to sign off for now. Thank you so much for bearing with me. I know that this got really long and I'm hoping to be able to edit in the future so that it's not as long and try not to be as long winded and, and get off track. So uh, thanks and have a great day.